the United States was built on and is held together as a free country to this very day on the power of the firearms. And there's a lot of guns that have played a huge role in the history of America. But what we're going to take a look at today is we're going to take a look at the top 10 guns in American history. Number one, the American Long Rifle, also referred to as the Kentucky Rifle, the Pennsylvania Rifle. So was the first commonly used rifle, whether for hunting or warfare, is a very early example of rifled barrels causing a spin of a lead bullet. Also had a much longer barrel, which is really only typical in the American long rifle as European and Asian rifles and muskets had much shorter barrels. Both these qualities led to incredible accuracy for its time and the longer barrel also increased velocity and effective range. Originally designed by German American immigrants, as Germany was where the original rifle technology came from. Soft iron was bored and rifled, and the stock was typically made with maple. It's a muzzle loader, and it played a major role in the American Revolution, the French and Indian Wars, the American Indian Wars, the War of 1812, and the Civil War. Number two, the Colt 1851 Navy. This is one of the first single action repeating handguns that rechambers around with a pull of the hammer. Second, really, only to the Colt Walker. It's a ball and cap revolver designed by Samuel Colt in 1847 and produced from 1851 to 1878. There's still many producers of the 1851 Navy today. So over 275,000 of these produced by Colt during that time, originally in the 36 caliber. This repeating handgun played a significant role in Western U.S. expansion being carried by famous Westerners as Doc Holliday, Ned Kelly, the Quantrill Raiders. It was the primary U.S. military sidearm throughout the Civil War until the invention of number three, the Colt Single Action Army, otherwise referred to as the Model P or M1873, most historically known as the Peacemaker. It's one of the first single action repeating revolvers holding a metallic cartridge. It was designed in 1872 by William Mason and Charles Richard. It was produced by Colt and was the U.S. service pistol from 1873 to 1892. It played a major role in the American Indian Wars, Spanish-American Wars, the Mexican Revolution, World War I, and even to some degree World War II, as 1873 single-action army revolvers were the sidearm of General Patton, one being in 45 Long Colt and another in the newly created 357 Magnum. Number four, the Winchester Model 1873. This is the gun that won the West. It's a lever action repeating rifle manufactured by Winchester Repeating Arms. The repeating rifle evolved from several preceding rifles, among them the Henry 1860 being really the first realistic metallic cartridge repeating rifle. But none grabbed American history like the Winchester Model 1873. This was an evolution of the Winchester Model 1866. It was originally chambered in the 4440 cartridge later chambered in the 3840 and the 3220. It was a U.S. service rifle from 1866 and to some degrees into the 1940s, playing some role in World War II. It was produced between 1873 and present, with production beginning again in 2013 with new models of the M1873. Just the Winchester 1873 version, there's over 720,000 of these produced, more if you include the model 1866, which makes it one of the most heavily used military rifles in U.S. history. Number five, Springfield Model 1903, also known as the M1903. It's a five round stripper clip fed bolt action rifle firing the 30-06. It was the U.S. service rifle from 1903 to 1949. With over three million M1903s produced, had a rate of fire of 10 to 15 rounds per minute of the newly created at the time 30-06 had muzzle velocities of 2,800 feet per second, effective range of over 5,000 yards. It was a standard issue U.S. service rifle throughout every war until World War II, and even in World War II it was still heavily used due to the insufficient production of the new semi-automatic U.S. service rifle also firing the 30-06 that we call number six, the M1 Garand. The M1 Garand is a semi-automatic end block clip fed eight round 30-06 that increased the rate of fire to 40 to 50 rounds per minute. Invented by Canadian-American John Garand, it was the U.S. service rifle from 1936 to 1958, and is still a U.S. service rifle even at present for some color guards and drill teams. 
played a role in every major U.S. conflict, all the way even to the recent war in Iraq. General Patton called the M1 Garand the greatest battle implement ever devised. There's 5.5 million M1 Garands produced, most being exported to other countries as assistance to other militaries, one of the biggest importers being South Korea during the Korean War. Millions of M1 Garands were offered back to the U.S. through local gun importers recently. However, then-President Barack Obama blocked and made illegal the U.S. import of American-made M1 Garands. Number 7. The Colt 1911, otherwise referred to as the M1911 or the Colt Government. This is a single-action, semi-automatic, magazine-fed, 7-plus, one-round, 45 ACP pistol invented by John Moses Browning. It was the U.S. military sidearm from 1911 to 1986, where it was replaced by the Beretta 92. However, many parts of the U.S. military still carry a 1911, and it played a major role in every U.S. conflict since 1911. There was 2.7 million Colt M1911s produced, countless 1911s made by other manufacturers still today, and it is still the most popular handgun sold. Number 8. Thompson submachine gun, also referred to as the Tommy gun, the trench broom, the annihilator, the Chicago typewriter, Chicago organ grinder, the drum gun, and the Thompson. It's a U.S. made submachine gun firing the 45 ACP and invented by John T. Thompson in 1918. It was originally invented for the heavy trench warfare of World War I, however production began after World War I came to an end. Thompson originally marketed it to the U.S. and called it the Trench Broom. However, after World War I, Thompson changed the name to the Annihilator and marketed it to police and civilians. Post-World War I, gangsters and the Prohibition era brought on a whole new use for the Tommy gun, being heavily used by gangsters and police departments throughout America. 1938, it was adopted by the U.S. military until 1971 and is still used in U.S. conflicts today. Produced between 1921 and 1945, this full auto 45 ACP fires at 600 to 800 rounds per minute, depending on whether you're using a stick magazine or a 100 round drum magazine. Number 9. The Browning M2. Invented by John Browning in 1918. It's also referred to as the M2 machine gun, the M1919, or the Ma Deuce, which was a name based on its M2 designation. This heavy machine gun fires the 50 BMG, which was a 50 caliber round designed alongside with the M2, BMG standing for Browning machine gun. This amazing heavy machine gun has been in U.S. service from 1918 to present, with over 3 million produced. 50 BMG velocities of traveling at 2,900 feet per second, with ranges over 8,000 yards. It's a bolt-fed, fully automatic, auto-air-cooled gun with the M2 HB firing 450 to 600 rounds per minute, HB standing for heavy barrel. Other M2s that are designed for aircrafts, the AN-M2 can fire 750 to 850 rounds per minute, and the AN-M3 aircraft gun hits rates of 1,200 to 1,300 rounds per minute. The Browning M2 is still to this day the primary heavy machine gun for U.S. military as well as NATO militaries throughout the world. And finally, number 10. The Armalite 15, otherwise known as the AR-15. It's a select fire, air-cooled, gas-operated, magazine-fed, traditionally firing the 5.56 NATO or the 223. The AR-15 takes on many other names depending on who made it, what ammo it fires, and whether it's for civilians or military. However, its original design as a select fire, fully auto, semi-automatic U.S. service rifle was designated the M16. This became U.S. standard issue during Vietnam. Being originally armed with the M14 and the M1 Garand, U.S. military was outgunned with enemy AK-47s. The M16 became the U.S. standard issue rifle even to this day, as well as the shorter barreled M4 carbine. Originally struggling with jamming issues, the AR-15 has been perfected over time, today being the number one rifle used by military and police departments around the world as well as the number one sporting rifle of all time. So there you go. There's our top 10 list of the guns of American history. I'm sure there's a few we didn't mention. If you have any, put them in the comments below. If you like this video, click like and subscribe. If you feel called to support our channel through Patreon, that link is also below. 
Well, the most important part of this channel is we take prayer requests, so never hesitate to send that in. Thank you for watching this episode of God, Family, and Guns. And as always, love God, love your family, and love guns.